Anti-HER2 Mechanisms of Approved HER2 Inhibitors The development of many breast cancers are driven by the presence of HER2. HER2 is a transmembrane tyrosine kinase receptor which belongs to the family of the EGFR, epidermal growth factor receptor. Its unique feature, which differentiates it from the other members of the family, is the absence of a known ligand. HER2 is overexpressed in 25 to 30 percent of human breast cancers and has been determined to be an adverse prognostic factor. Since the level of HER2 in human cancer cells with membrane overexpression is much higher than in normal adult tissue, there is potentially more sensitivity to the toxicity of HER2 targeting drugs. HER2 overexpression is typically found in both the primary tumor and in metastatic sites, which provides the rationale for the effectiveness of anti-HER2 therapy at all disease sites. Trastuzumab Research has therefore focused heavily on HER2 inhibitors as anti-cancer agents. Trastuzumab is the first of such agents which was registered for use in patients with HER2 overexpressing breast cancer. Trastuzumab is a recombinant monoclonal antibody directed against the extracellular domain of the tyrosine kinase receptor HER2. Trastuzumab has shown clinical activity in HER2 overexpressing breast cancers and at present is currently approved for patients whose tumors have this abnormality in both the metastatic and the adjuvant setting. A number of different mechanisms of action has been attributed to its anti-HER2 activity, including antibody-dependent cell-mediated cytotoxicity, prevention of HER2 truncated membrane-bound fragment following HER2 overexpression, and HER2 receptor downregulation, though these are still subject of discussion. However, binding of trastuzumab to the HER2 receptor and subsequent inhibition of HER2-mediated signaling transduction is thought to be the main mechanism of action of trastuzumab. Pertuzumab Pertuzumab is a novel, fully humanized monoclonal antibody which binds to domain 2 of HER2, a portion of the extracellular domain essential for dimerization, while trastuzumab is known to bind to domain 4. This binding of pertuzumab efficiently sterically blocks ligand-induced homodimerization and importantly HER2, HER3 heterodimerization, which activates downstream survival signaling through pathways such as phosphatidyl inositol 3 kinase PI3K AKT, whereas trastuzumab has only a minor effect in the presence of a ligand. Pertuzumab was approved in mid-2012 for use in combination with trastuzumab and docetaxel to treat patients with metastatic or locally recurrent unresectable HER2 positive breast cancer who have not received previous anti-HER2 therapy or chemotherapy for their metastatic disease. TDM1 To increase the potency of antibody-directed therapy, the specificity of the antigen binding site has been combined with a wide variety of effector agents, including toxins. This led to the development of the antibody drug conjugate, ADC, trastuzumab emtanzine, TDM1, which is comprised of the anti-HER2 antibody trastuzumab bound to the potent antimicrotubule cytotoxic agent metanzine, DM1, by a thioether linker. TDM1 uses trastuzumab to specifically localize the highly active chemotherapy to HER2-positive tumor cells. The trastuzumab portion of the ADC selectively binds to HER2 receptors and is internalized by the cancer cell. In addition to the anti-tumor activity initiated by trastuzumab, once internalized by the cancer cell, Trastuzumab and the linker are degraded through lysosomal degradation and DM1 is selectively liberated causing cell cycle arrest and apoptosis through direct inhibition of microtubule assembly and polymerization. The linker has been specially designed to prevent DM1 from detaching from trastuzumab prematurely. This may lead to a reduction in the size of the tumor. As trastuzumab resistance remains a challenge to the management of advanced breast cancer, studies with TDM1 may offer an additional option for these patients.
Responses to TDM1 in recent clinical investigations have been the basis of the recent FDA approval for TDM1 for the treatment of patients with HER2-positive metastatic breast cancer.